Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Today we are going to be touring a natural town island. It has a really nice rustic feel to it. And this creator just has such a beautiful way of creating these natural realistic towns. I know you guys are gonna love this one, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, we are going to check out the island map. I also just want to apologize quickly for my very nasally voice. I currently have COVID, that's why I've been a little bit slower with videos, but I'm feeling better and I'm really excited to show you guys this island. So the map looks amazing. I can tell that it's going to be more of a structured city, but you can also see that they did a ton of terraforming work to make their layout work as well as their flow. I'm really excited to see how it looks as we walk around the island. Also, the dream address is on the screen as always, as well as in the description with all of the creator socials like I said this creator is really really amazing they just have the most realistic and beautiful builds so I highly recommend checking them out on Instagram I for one really love following them so lots of cute villagers on this island as well I just cannot wait to actually walk around the island so let's just start checking out what's going on here so I do want to note that this airport is green and I'm getting just a lot of greenery and nature coming through here, which I do really like a lot. So wow, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous entrance from the airport. Right off the bat, we have this like garden across and then we also have this like really natural beautiful street path i love that there are some leaves on top of it as well as this really nice like beige brick border which i have never seen this code i'm gonna try to find it um i will do my best as i always do to get as many codes as possible in the in the description for you guys but what an entrance this is already i love how many different paths they're using and like i said this creator is just like a master at making spaces feel realistic and this just feels so so real and i would love to be in a nice little natural town like this i can't think of anything better every angle also looks really really good which i'm not surprised about so I think I'm gonna go to the right first because if we look at the map one more time, we actually are pretty far to the right side of the island already. So since there's more to see on the left side, we're gonna start with the right and then work our way back to the center and to the left. So over here, just so much detail all along this path. Like we have just lots of this like really kind of farmy feel it just feels like this community garden and it feels very very lived in all throughout here and i really just want to note how much i love the mixture of codes that they're using this deck code for example is one of my favorite codes i love the way that there's so many angles that come with this code and it just really actually works beautifully with this street code that they're using over here there's just so many things to get inspiration from with this island. One being just how to decorate around a path and getting ideas like the way that they're using these phone booths over here and the bus stop a little like bench is a great way to just fill in some of that space as well as just all the items on the actual path like the hand cart or that little stool with a bag on it. Like so many things that I probably wouldn't have even thought to do. So I always love to tour islands just to get inspiration for little things like that sometimes it doesn't have to be the whole island that you're like getting inspiration from if it's a different theme than you but little details like that really do help me at least on my own island so over here we have lots of these like flowers this little garden area and the colors that they chose they're just curated so beautifully they work really nicely together and then we have flurry just like walking around the island here i think before i go up there i'm just gonna finish the like front left side of the island and then we'll get up that incline and all of that good stuff so let's see if there's anything on the beach it looks to be pretty natural but look at that i love like the overgrown weeds and then the little umbrella here this just feels so fitting for this island I was gonna say that it was very simple on the beach but then I came across this area 
and this is so cute it's like a whole build here on the beach we have some of these storefronts and then just really cute little items throughout here it's also really bustling on the side of the island i think we may have found the creator let me say hi i don't know what she's saying unfortunately i don't speak japanese but i do want to note that her outfit is so cute she's just so fitting on this island i love it i love when creators like actual rep just matches their overall aesthetic of the island it really is just such a nice little detail over here just lots of little cute places to sit and then i noticed that we have the peninsula over here so look at this all of the codes that they're using just such a fun way to fill up your peninsula i don't really know exactly what this area is maybe it's like a little bit of a like kind of workstation it feels really overgrown but i really like it and again just the use of the codes they did such an amazing job with layering here um, as we come through this way, there actually is a villager house over here And I love that they have this whole kind of like front yard area Looks like a place to park some bikes. I don't know if this is supposed to be Maybe their shop as well So maybe the peninsula is a bit of an extension to their shop and their workstation But we have this little like sign in the front and this is just such a beautiful layout There is nothing to me more beautiful than like decorating houses and exteriors in animal crossing and this is just such a nice mix of like natural overgrown but also some more of these like more structured pieces like that little like front deck area that we have and then over here we have like a abandoned looking car so again really a lot of these um, overgrown vibes throughout here which is just working really nicely against the more structured parts of the island so let's see i think i want to go up this incline over here there is just so much to see i'm going to try to not miss anything because i can just tell that this island is decorated to the absolute brim which i really appreciate i love that um so over here we have another villager house again like just noticing the type of codes that they're using and changing it up for each villager house this one feels a lot more structured um and it has like a very like distinct little pathing underneath it kind of feels like a brick of some sort and it looks like there's like some antiques out in the front so i wonder if it's an antique store the creator did say that there's not like a specific theme for this island it's just supposed to feel like rustic and filled with a lot of things that they love and i think that's the best way to go about it you do not need a theme for your island in my opinion you can even just make it aesthetically what you want and then that's your theme you know so love that and then over here we have this little like food truck type of like situation going on here with the place to sit by the beach i mean come on the, everything is so fully decorated this must have taken so long i think i actually reached out to this creator because i've been following them for a while maybe about a year ago and with like i like i said i've been following them and i love their creations and i was like i want to tour your island and they were like it's not done yet but i'll get back to you and they actually did get back to me they just released this da so i feel very honored to be touring and this dream address literally just came out so i hope it's something new and exciting for you guys to see because i i know like burnout is real right now but there's just so many creators in this community that are just somehow always making something different and unique like this one and i just love sharing these with you guys but i digress this is so pretty i love this little gazebo area over here i'm also getting a bit of japanese vibes throughout here like those japanese countryside like types of aesthetics really coming through just with some of the path codes that they're using as well which i really like to see and it just adds a little bit of something to this island um, okay, so which way to go? I guess I'm gonna come through this way. This is also a fun little design idea. Putting a ladder right by a tree makes it feel like someone either was like climbing the tree or grabbing fruit from there. I think that's such a fun idea, which I think I saw Diana Daisy's or Diana Daly's do a while ago, um, which I'm sure some of you guys follow on Twitch and YouTube. I really love her designs, and I think that was the first time I ever saw someone do that, so. I'm giving her credit for that, although I don't know who actually made that, like was the first creator to do that. But anyway, 
This little pathing is beautiful as well. I love this little like dirt wood plank mix. And look at how nicely that transitions back to this wood plank uh, like diagonal code here. That is just so stunning. I, I think that is one of the best code transitions I've ever, ever seen. Wow, look at this over here. This whole little like villager house, just so sweet. They maybe are like the seamstress over here because we have the sewing machine. I wonder how, oh, okay, there's some way that we have to get back down to that beach because I see a little signpost down there. Um, so I wonder if that's somewhere that we have to get to as well. But continuing through here, we have another villager house. So this is a little neighborhood and they're on this like diagonal path, which I just love. I've talked about this many times you've obviously if well not obviously if you've watched my videos you hear me say i love diagonal pathing i love diagonal neighborhoods and i've made many diagonal neighborhoods which you may have seen in speed builds so all that to say i think diagonal codes are just my favorite thing to happen to this game so over here it looks like this is maybe also part of the like seamstress or like clothing shop it looks like maybe this is where their workshop is where they're maybe tailoring things or making clothing such a fun idea and you could just tell how much thought went into like every little area of this island just with the way that they're decorating the villager houses um, and all of the little details and thought that is going into each and every one of these tiny areas really a fan of that and this waterscaping is just so beautiful i mean i can't so so good okay so i came through this way and it looks to be a really beautiful view over here this is just so good i mean i wish that you can like stop the camera at the exact angle that you want i know you can do it with screenshotting but video wise it's hard but you can just see that beautiful house in the distance all of the color all of the like trees it just feels like such a beautiful warm day here on this island this is so so stunning and again their use of paths just so good i mean look at this and even all of the items on the floor like the basketball and the little suitcase it's really good i also noticed that there's a ladder here so let's get down here and just see what's going on what we can do down here so you can actually sit down on this lower level i love that they made this all so interactive and accessible you can also sit over here just get some different views and i wonder if you can actually if that's the way to get through to where that house is because i know that you can jump over here so i'm jumping through this way can you get through any farther i don't think so okay well at least we we tried but i do like that you can get underneath this gazebo you can kind of have a little picnic on the water which is really cute love that we will get over to that house at some point in this tour but for now, let's get back onto the path that we started on. So I think we're kind of coming through here maybe backwards, but that's okay. Up here, this is looks to be like a kind of like rooftop area or just another like kind of place to sit. Definitely has a more countryside vibe and just the, the types of items that they're using. It's so good. Feels so real, like this little playground area. They somehow made this feel like a very like packed city but also like very calming and surrounded by nature which i think is really really hard to pull off let's see if we come around this way where this leads to um okay i guess let's follow this pathing here i know we missed some stuff over to the left but since we already kind of saw this view i want to follow this pathway down but holy cow like look at this is this not just so so stunning so much detail coming through here so many layers so much dimension i don't even know how one would begin a build like this and that is my honest truth i do not know where to start with something like this this is an, it's just so pretty i love the way that this transitions the way that they've waterscaped around here i think this is actually a really fun idea to have an incline and then like have it really surrounded by water that's such a like fun little sunken design that i i think more of us should do i love it 
So then over here, this looks to be like a really fancy, maybe like hotel. I'm getting hotel vibes from this, just with the way that it feels like, like I said, very fancy. We have like some places to sit out here. We have like lounge chairs. Maybe it's a spa. Maybe it's a spa and not a hotel but either way some hospitality vibes maybe <laughs> and their layering of codes once again really beautiful and then we can continue over here and this looks to be like a little waiting area definitely feels like a little park and just so many items i haven't seen used in a really long time like is that the street organ back there and the little tricycle even all the colors on this island they're colors i would not typically use but they look really, really beautiful. And they also like are totally matching that flower wagon, which I really appreciate just that little detail of that color matching going on. So I don't think there, we can go any farther this way. So let's get back up. That is very, very cool. Like that this is all on its own little island almost. So maybe it would make sense that it's a spa. That feels very like calming and feels like a little getaway. Look at this though, just how do you go about making a flow this perfect? I love these two inclines that you can see. Oh my gosh, I think I just need to take a picture right here because, wow, like this layout, the way that you can see both of the inclines in the same frame and the water coming through, the terraforming and just the design in general is literally stunning. I. I think that is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in this game. I really am at a loss for words with that one. Okay, so over here, this is looks to be again a more like country feeling area. We have like the wagon, we have a gazebo, a little uh, kind of like walkway land bridge up here. And you're just getting so much detail as you walk over this bridge on both sides. We're seeing some more kind of rural areas and then that spa over to the right. And then as we come through here, this takes us to another part of the neighborhood this feels like maybe a library over here i am trying to like decipher these areas as i go but this definitely feels like a little like library work area and this would make a lot of sense because the museum is right here so this seems maybe like an educational library would be attached to this museum and it's just so beautiful the way that they use this rope fencing over here the different pathing and the different like pieces that they're using it looks so good also all of the um like medieval walls and the way that they laid them out i'm really a, just a huge fan of this overall island in general so let's take another look at just how much detail is within this little like library almost feels like a bar even though i know that it's not because i'm not seeing like any drinks or anything like that but this is just so well done and it's so different it really brings me back to the beginning of the game when we were creating lots of different like outdoor libraries and things like that or like little bars or diners this has that feel and it just feels very creative which I just love if you guys couldn't guess that i love this island i really really do um, and then we have able sisters over to the right over here and what's really cool is that with all these areas they're just giving them really the space to breathe giving them like more than just decorating a little bit around them but they're creating these like larger areas and extending these buildings which i love like over here we have just some shopping bags and things like that i don't know if we can get any further down that way or behind but they really like filled every little section up i like that between those arches we, we can see like the phone boots or the little like clothes hanging and then it once again flows so beautifully to the next area which we have this like bridge over here and it just transitions us into a more kind of natural rural side which is really really cool i love when there's like two different aesthetics on each side of a bridge and this is definitely doing that so we have nook's cranny over here looks like we have another one of the resident reps running around and they just have such a sweet little design around nooks lots of like little basketballs it feels very playful little places to sit maybe for timmy and tommy to do their homework because they are definitely children right like 
you know what i've never really looked that up but they definitely give off children vibes which makes me wonder how they're working but you know what that's a story for another day but i'm basically just trying to say that all of these little areas are so well thought out and they're just so charming I also realized I have no idea how to get to that right side of the beach, but I think we have to just focus on um, getting around the rest of the island before I worry about <laughs> seeing every section of the beach. So I saw this little ladder down here and we're going to follow this and see what neighborhood we entered into now. This is so cool. Look at all of the path work. There is just so much to look at here. This is one of those islands that like, I highly recommend you guys come check out because I feel like I can barely like scratch the surface with this one. There's so much to see, although I will try to see everything. Um, but this is one that you can definitely get lost on for a while. Also, this is right to the left of resident services. So over here, just so much detail. We have this like gorgeous path. This one's by Crossing with Liss, which I'll have in the description for sure because I'm using this one on my island. But I love the way that it curves. I love that it gives this like really natural, overgrown, wild garden feel. And that leads up to that really pretty villager house, which also feels like a plant shop. So it just works really really nicely as a whole like kind of design and then as we come up here i know that there's more to see behind but i just want to like orient ourselves a tiny bit because we missed like whatever is going on up here so i'm just gonna head back to the front of the island and then make our way kind of back there so there's these like shops up here on this walkway at the front of the island lots of little details all throughout here and this is if we were to go like to the left so we went over here to the right when we started the tour but if we went to the left this would have led us to this little courtyard which is so beautiful i love a really simple natural courtyard like this um, and then that leads to resident services also the creator does have some custom codes they made i'll put them on the screen some nice like rugs and really cute outfits so if there's anything you want there i would check out their uh like creator uh portal when you get to their dream address or just use their code which i'll have in the description but just to i just wanted to orient us here on where we were at and what we've seen so let's continue more to the left like we were down this little like busy street lots and lots of detail all throughout here again i love just how much thought went into decorating every single piece of the street and making it feel very lively i honestly feel like i'm in like central park where there's a million like vendors all on the you know like walkway and just so many fun little things to see so let's see i'm gonna go this way and then we'll go up that incline but there's over here a another little like library it looks like you can maybe check out some books so maybe it's more of a bookshop place to sit as well this is just so like i said very very creative with all of their builds and it's really really beautiful to see because i can honestly say i don't see these types of islands a lot where people are getting creative with the little areas and builds that they're making so that that sounded wrong i always see a lot of creative islands but i mean like these very very creative builds um like actually creating a library or creating a bookshop i haven't seen that a lot lately so over here we have another really beautiful courtyard area i love the way that this looks with the fountain in the middle as well this is just very charming as with the rest of the island we can actually continue this way also which is pretty cool i don't know if oh yeah you can actually get all the way through there i don't think we're gonna go that far yet because there's still so much to see behind here but i was just trying to see how far i could get on that pathway but the cool thing about this island is that there's usually multiple ways to get wherever you need to go um oh and then if you go up this incline here look at that view holy cow there is still so much to see on this island and we've already been here for quite a while and that is really amazing because i know people are going to see this and be like why is this island so much bigger than mine and i honestly don't have an answer for you because we all know that it's not actually bigger it's just the way that they have decorated everything and really laid out their island which is just such an amazing thing to see because this feels huge 
so we have more of these like street vendors over here and then as we come through this way it looks like this like really continues here so very just like bustling lively city and then over here on the beach holy cow whoa i am like literally at a loss for words with how much has gone into this island this looks to be like a working cafe type of feel because we have some of those ipads um on the tables like lots of different like food items and then this seems to be like the bakery where you would order at and just look at all of this detail it is really really amazing this is so so good i wish i had more words in my vocabulary to explain how shocked and amazed i am by the detail on this and then this actually has the pier over here it looks like they have a little sleigh on the pier which is so cute because it kind of looks like a tiny boat so that's a really cool idea that i haven't seen anyone do or use on their pier or as a boat so let's come back through this way this was that little bakery beach cafe over here so much detail i could honestly spend hours just going through every little detail on this island but there's so much to see so i'm gonna keep it moving and let's see this is the end of the left side of the island but again just totally filled up with like stalls and street markets and then as we come up here look at this beautiful layout i love the symmetry i love the different ways that this path like breaks off also this code here which has this like really beautiful water on in the center that the duck is on top of i just love that so much it's such a pretty code so okay as you walk through here you'll feel really immersed within all of these city walls and then we'll come through here and it looks to be like we have this little like junkyard area over to the right not sure how to get fully in there but then over to the left here is where we have um more of a like farmy aesthetic also lots just going on we have like little tomatoes being grown over here little places to weigh your food and again just a beautiful mixture of codes we have this like cobblestone so it looks like a little area that has really been like overgrown worn away um which makes it just feel very very lived in of course let's see as we come up here oh okay so this is just like a little like cute um i guess like filler area but i walked like right into the fence <laughs> so let's see we'll come up over here i just want to see what was going on this way before we head over any of that bridge i feel like i am so shocked because i keep thinking i've seen an area before but i keep finding something new like what where are we now now we're on another like full oh my gosh what if we come down <laughs> I don't even know how to stay oriented with this island because there's so much to see. So before we go down that that uh, incline, let's just check out what else is up here. So this was just another kind of like rooftop area to explore. I think that there's just a lot of um, like these rooftop areas because there's so many levels on this island and they've decorated every single literal like inch of this island. So let's see i'm going to like come back around this way and now we can go down that incline and see what was going on over to is this where we were before um let's see oh wait we never actually came through this way but on the same level we can get another view of the whole backside of the island and this is really just again one of those stunning views i really want to note how much i love that they're really thinking about all of the views on this island and giving like the player the ability to see this island from just so many different angles so let's come back wrap around this way um oh yeah this is where i wanted to go was over this bridge over here and continue to the left side of the island but this is really pretty this is just an extension of this overall farm and countryside feel and i love that in each of these different areas we're getting totally different aesthetics that all still like merge together but just like the fencing that they're using here or the colors that they're using here work really well with an overall farm whereas some other areas feel much more structured and 
maybe a little bit more like city or town like but i think we have ketchup's house over here which just works so well looks like there's some tomatoes being made and just so many details like look at all of these wheat fields we were over here a little bit before but so many crops just so much like detail literally throughout this whole little farm area so if we go this way there's actually an incline where we can get up to the top level and through here believe it or not there are more views behind here like what how how in the world is there even more to see and look at this terraforming that is just the most beautiful terraforming that I have ever seen. And it's a campsite in like these mountains. And there's so many layers throughout here because of the terraforming that they did. And they really decorated on like absolutely every level. So I went down this um, kind of like ladder here, but I'm going to come back up because I was getting a little bit stuck. And I think we can see a lot um, over here anyway so you can come down here as well and actually walk to this other level here where more of these kids tents are look there's even one on that top right level i don't even know how you go about decorating every inch of an island like this because all the cliffs are fully fully decorated and then the secret beach seems to be accessible as well i think there's a ladder down there my rep just doesn't seem to want to go down there but it looks to be a very simple like secret beach but i really like that you have to like work your way over there um, and really find some of these different areas of the island so i don't think i can go back any further but we do have another villager house over here filled with just lots of books and um little like a little like outdoor work area which is super super cute and i love that we can see how much detail is on that beach as well even though the beach i think it probably is accessible actually isn't like the main focus of this island i love that they really made it so beautiful that if you do end up on the beach there's going to be something to see and thought went into that as well i also really like this little log lounge chair and these log lounges in general um, this is such a beautiful view that I feel like I just need to open up one more time But I can't get over how long that must have taken I don't even want to know because that I could just tell is a ton of work Let's see if we can go back here Oh, okay, so we can actually go back here to the back side of this little neighborhood that we got a view of before. So we have some of these villager houses over here. I know we had seen these from like a higher level, but this definitely seems to be a more rural part of town with all of the wheat fields. I also like that they're using different colored wheat fields here. And they're just, again, getting so creative with every little area, like having a little camp area in front of this house and a little map and also just like the yuzu bath and even this little like rooftop area over here. So it definitely feels like a bit of an extension of some of the campsite as well, which I like. Behind there, I noticed that that's where the museum is that we saw before. So I think we're starting to finally like get a grip on where what we've seen before orienting ourselves around this island because there is just so so much to see so let's see we're gonna go down here and this is that like other layer or bottom layer of this neighborhood that we saw a view of before but this definitely looks to be like maybe like the woodworkers house it looks like they maybe have a storefront over here i know this is one of the reps houses as well um and then we have a tractor it just all feels very very cohesive it feels super fitting just for this area in general okay so now that we came back and saw that area over here we've seen the farm this way i'm gonna make my way kind of back to the front of the island and just see if we've missed anything along the way because there are a lot of things to see like i don't know if we came up here i don't think we did so there's just so much to explore as you come to this island so many different like layers and levels to 
get, get different views of different areas, which I really, really appreciate and love. Like when you're doing these rooftop areas, it's a lot more work for yourself just to kind of decorate all of these, but also it's just um, really nice to be able to get different views of, of areas of your island that you may not have been able to otherwise. So let's come back down here. We'll do another little kind of walk through the front side of the island so i just love all all this detail up here with the um kind of like street vendors or street market oh i didn't even notice up here this is something we totally missed was the campsite area and this is so fitting to have it here over on the beach so it's kind of cool that they made that whole campground in the back but then they also use their regular campsite to have a beach campground so there's different ways that you can camp on this island which i like a lot and just so much detail also like we have um, tons of different ways to decorate a campsite and tons of different inspiration just from this island alone like this little seating area is so so cozy and cute i really like that and if we come back up off of here then you're kind of back in the main city area and you can just like walk through all of these areas there is so so much to see i really don't think i've ever been on an island that's just had so much like so jam-packed but it doesn't feel cluttered it doesn't feel like overwhelming in a bad way it definitely is a lot to see and a lot to make sure that you don't miss anything so this could definitely be one of those islands that you feel like you want to come back to or visit multiple times because there's just so so much beauty on it I don't think we even saw this little area over to the right of resident services it just is a little bit of a like kind of community garden feel looks like they use these little like diy workbenches which make it feel just very kind of lived in and also it just feels like more of this like workstation um just a place that people kind of come to together and garden which i love and i know that's probably what they were going for there I don't know if we ever went up this incline either. Oh yes, we did. Okay, so I could just go around this island one more time because there's so much that I'm sure there is to see. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I think I got everywhere on this island. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.